नमस्कार एंड अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरीवन आई मुक्ता कांडियाल वेलकम यू ऑल इन आर दिस लाइव इंटरैक्टिव सेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस and this is for class 10 student that means you are watching our this program on pm e vidya channel number 10 and for today the such the topic we are having is chapter number 5 minerals and energy resources and as always we are joined by one of the expert who will be giving us thorough information and a detailed information on this topic we are having for today's session the expert we have today with us in the studio is miss k jaya ma'am is pgt geography at convent of jesus and mary school new delhi namaskar ma'am bahut bahut swagat hai aapke sath mein namaskar and uh, i would like to inform all our viewers as well that if you have any queries any question that you would like to raise with us today's uh, regarding today's topic you can call us on our number that is 8800440559 you can also write to us at dth.class10 at the rate cit.nic.in so without any further delay let's start today's session and i'll directly head to uh, jaya ma'am and i'll ask her ma'am minerals and energy resources so what all resources are we going to study in today's session Mukta, the lesson that we are going to take up today in this session is part one, and here we are going to discuss about minerals and energy resources, and we'll be doing in this session particularly laying greater emphasis on energy resources. Mm. Now, let me begin with a question, Mukta. Why do we need energy? Can you tell me why? Ma'am, the very first thing that uh, struck my mind is for our survival. That is, I think. Main. All right. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Well, let me tell all my young budding geographers that what are the learning outcomes that NCERT is now projecting at teaching this particular uh, session or topic. The learner will recognize and retrieve facts, figures, and the rate processes. For example, they will be able to identify the types of minerals. whether they are renewable non renewable and also they will be able to locate them the regions they will identify where they are produced or are found and also they will be able to analyze and understand the need to conserve the mineral resources so without any further delay let's get into our lesson well the first question that comes to your mind that why do we need energy children we need energy to first and foremost to cook to provide light as you can see all around and also the heat and it is also for propelling the vehicle kya aapne kabhi socha hai ki aap jis gaadi mein jaate hain to usko chalne ke liye bhi energy chahiye hoti hai sirf hame apne kaam karne ke liye nahi balki और बहुत सारे ऐसे काम हैं जिनको अंजाम देने के लिए हमें एनर्जी की जरूरत होती है और बहुत जरूरी जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज हैं वो इतनी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और प्रोडक्शन कर रहे हैं और कैसे कर रहे हैं इट इज बिकॉज इवन द मशीनरीज नीड दिस ड्राइविंग फोर्स ऑफ व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एन एनर्जी तो मुद्दा एक और प्रश्न करते हैं बच्चों से पूछते हैं कि क्या वो ये जानते हैं कि एनर्जी को हम कहा से जेनरेट करते हैं where do we get this energy generated from ma'am there could be a number of sources from there yes yeah. very very true we have fuel minerals mm. children like coal, coal petroleum and natural gas and we also have nuclear minerals which are uranium and thorium and also we get energy from electricity when we talk about the classification of the minerals as minerals या एनर्जी सोर्सेस के सोर्सेस क्या हैं तो उसमें हम एक क्लासिफिकेशन समझते हैं एक होता है कन्वेंशनल और दूसरा होता है नॉन कन्वेंशनल एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज जैसे कि आप स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं नाउ द कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस इंक्लूड कोल द मेजर एम्फोसिस बींग ऑन मिनरल रिसोर्सेज बिकॉज हम एनर्जी की बात कर रहे हैं ये फॉसिल फ्यूल्स हैं जैसे कोल है पेट्रोलियम है नेचुरल गैस है और दूसरी तरफ एक फायरवुड और कैटल काउडंग केक्स भी आती हैं जो कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस में आती हैं और नॉन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस में बच्चों आता है सोलर विंड टाइडल जियोथर्मल बायोगैस एंड एटॉमिक एनर्जी आपको ये जानकर बहुत आश्चर्य होगा कि ग्रामीण इलाकों में आज भी बहुत जगह हम बहुत हद तक ऑलमोस्ट सत्तर प्रतिशत जो हमारी ऊर्जा या एनर्जी है वो कहां से मिल रही है वो फायरवुड एंड कैटल डंग से मिल रही है। तो बच्चों से एक प्रश्न करते हैं क्या आपको सही लगता है कि अगर हम ये फायरवुड और कैटल डंग 
केक को बतौर एज सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी यूज कर रहे हैं नहीं क्यों बच्चों इफ वी आर यूजिंग द फायर वुड इट इज पुटिंग एडेड प्रेशर ऑन आर रिच फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेस दे प्रोवाइड अस विद प्रोटेक्टिव एंड प्रोडक्टिव फंक्शंस एंड आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली इकोलॉजिकली इट इज नॉट अ वायबल थिंग टू डू बिकॉज हमारा पर्यावरण प्रदूषित होता है yes, और सबसे बड़ी बात इंडिया इज एन अग्रेरियन कंट्री एंड वी नीड दिस वैल्यूबल मैन्योर इंस्टेड ऑफ बींग बर्न एज अ सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सो इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट द फर्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द कन्वेंशनल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टारगेट इज कोल कोयला this is the most abundantly available form of fossil fuel why a substantial part of our country's energy is being met using this particular mineral remember coal is a weight losing raw material it is also a non renewable resource children but as a country we are highly dependent on coal for meeting our major requirements how is coal formed i'm sure you all have studied in science all right so let us quickly try to recall koila kaise banta hai coal is formed due to the compression of plants over millions of years and therefore we have different grades or varieties of coals and it is dependent or controlled by at what depth it is formed how much time it has taken for its formation and also to the temperature to which it has been exposed in its entire formation at the time of burial so here we have the varieties of coal like peat which is formed by the decaying of plants in swamps that produces the one of the lower grade of the coal lignite as we have a naively lignite deposit in tamil nadu aapne inka naam zarur suna hoga and today it is a major source of generation of electricity in our country lignite is a soft high moisture content and is a low grade brown coal we have another grade of the coal bituminous children you must remember metallurgically this coal is of a high grade and of immense commercial importance for our various iron and steel industries because it is used very widely for smelting of iron in the blast furnaces we have anthracite which is the highest quality of hard coal in india you must try to identify that we find the coal occurrences mainly in two rock series ek hai gondwana deposits which date back to about over 200 million years ago and we have the important resources of these gondwana coal in the west bengal jharkhand region damodar valley bachcho aapne iska naam zarur suna hoga why this region is of immense importance to us we also have another deposit of the coal in the form of the tertiary coal deposits and these tertiary coal deposits date back to a recent not so recent well 55 million years ago bachche hamesha ye baat puchte hain ki ma'am what is the difference between 200 million years ago and 55 to tertiary deposits ki jab hum baat karte hain wo ek latest deposits nahi hai bachche it even dates back to 55 million years ago and thus when we look at the deposits these tertiary deposits are found mainly in the states of assam arunachal pradesh and nagaland aur agar hum isko achhi tarah padhe to northeastern states hain जहां पे टर्शरी डिपॉजिट बहुत हद तक पाई जाती हैं। दे आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन दी गोदावरी महानदी सोन एंड वर्धा वैली एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली तीन जगहों के नाम हम बच्चों को बोलते हैं कि एक 
गेम खेलते ट्रेजर हंट एज अ मैप स्किल एक्टिविटी और राइट ना जब आप ये कोशिश करेंगे और ढूंढने की कोशिश करेंगे कि वो कौन से तीन चार मेजर गोंडवाना कोल डिपॉजिट्स हैं जिनको वो मानचित्र पर अंकित कर सकते हैं कैन यू लोकेट एंड लेबल द मेजर गोंडवाना कोल डिपॉजिट्स ऑन द आउटलाइन मैप ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड दैट कोल इज अ मेजर सोर्स ऑफ थर्मल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो वाई इज इट दैट हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज एंड थर्मल पावर स्टेशन आर लोकेटेड ऑन और नियर द कोल फील्ड इसका उत्तर मैंने बिल्कुल सेशन के शुरुआत में दिया था कि कोल इज अ वेट लूजिंग रॉ मेटीरियल एंड दे फोर इट इज हैवी एंड बल्की एंड इसे एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ले जाना इज पुटिंग एन एडेड एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सो वेन वी लुक इट द कोल एज अ कन्वेंशनल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी Here we have a map, as you can see, and kindly try to locate and study and answer the questions and activities that we have uh, introduced you with. That take up locating and labeling these Gondwana coal deposits on the map of India. When we try to understand the conventional sources of energy, children, there are three major sources. It is obtained from the natural gas, hydroelectricity. and thermal which includes both coal as well as water as hydroelectricity now we further move on trying to understand these conventional sources of energy one of the major source as i discussed that petroleum or mineral oil is the next major energy source in india after coal it provides fuel for heating and lighting machineries use it as lubricants and it is also a raw material for base for many of our manufacturing industries do you know that petroleum refineries act as a nodal industry aur iske bare mein jab hum dusre session mein minerals ke bare mein batayenge to bachcho ko iske bare mein puri tarah se jankari di jayegi very important locations again that mumbai high gujarat and assam ye teen jagah jo hum abhi identify kar rahe hain ye oil fields ke bataur bahut hi charchit hain they are the major oil deposits that our country has ankaleshwar in gujarat is also an equally important oil resource center big boy आपने कभी इसका नाम सुना है बच्चों से पूछते हैं कि कहा लोकेटेड है चलिए मैं बताए चलती हूँ कि ये असम में लोकेटेड है एंड जानते हैं मुक्ता ये सबसे ओल्डेस्ट डिपॉजिट है हमारे कंट्री का राइट एंड इट डेट्स बैक टू दी ब्रिटिश टाइम वन इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी जब आप ऑयल और मिनरल और पेट्रोलियम रिजर्व की बात कर रहे हैं आप अपना ध्यान आकर्षित कीजिए और देखिए कि हमने कितनी गाड़ियां बढ़ा दी हैं सड़कों पर और कितना कंजम्पन बढ़ गया है लेकिन बात अगेन वही है कि हमें एनर्जी की जरूरत है बहुत जरूरी है कि हमें इसका उपयोग सोच समझ कर करना पड़े वन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट क्या आपने सी और पी के बारे में जानकारी हासिल की है बिल्कुल मैम जो है चिल्ड्रन इज वन ऑफ अ वेरी पॉपुलर मेथड ऑफ यूजिंग इट एज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्यूल वाइल पी एन जी ऑल ऑफ अस आर फेमिलियर दैट गेल हैज इनिशिएटेड दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट वेर द पाइपलाइंस हैव ब्रॉट द गैस एंड दिस इज अ वेरी बिग एडवांटेज इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ आर कंट्री talking about the non conventional sources children i would like to draw your attention to hvj pipeline the hvj pipeline relates to hazira vijaypur and jagdishpur it is a trans state in the sense it runs across three different states 
Hmm. Pipelines are flexible. Hmm. But this 1700 kilometer long HVJ pipeline, which was constructed by Gale, has been a boon to our fertilizer industries. And remote industries in the state of Uttar Pradesh, as interior parts, in the interior parts, we have been able to establish fertilizer industries and think India is an agricultural country. And we are actually in need of this kind of energy which is required. And this artery definitely has provided impetus to Indian gas market development. Another source, conventional source of energy is hydroelectricity. How is it generated? It is generated by fast flowing water, which is a renewable resource. India has many multi-purpose river valley projects. You have been familiar with them. To name a few of them, the Bhakra Nangal, the Damodar Valley Corporation, and the Kopili Hydel project in Assam. Thermal electricity, another source of energy as if you recall and you have studied in science children that it uses coal petroleum and natural gas which are non-renewable resources and therefore this energy that we are talking about today needs to be also backed by some major sources of non-conventional source of energy Sooner or later, we are not far from a situation where we find that this energy is getting exhausted or the sources are getting depleted. So here we have the answer, the non-conventional source of energy, which includes atomic or nuclear, solar energy, wind energy, biogas, tidal energy and geothermal energy. What is atomic energy? I am sure you have studied in science and it is necessary to link the subject. It is obtained by altering the structure of atoms. And when this alteration takes place, enormous energy is released in the form of heat and this is used to generate electric power. Uranium and thorium are the major nuclear minerals. These are available in our country in the states of Jharkhand and the Aravali ranges of Rajasthan. It is also found abundantly in the monazite sand deposits in Kerala. And here the sand deposits are rich in thorium. We have yet another map activity for you. And let us play a treasure hunt. Can you locate these six nuclear plants, power stations, and find out in which state are they located? Narora, Raudbhata, Kakrapara, Tarapur, Kaiga, and Kalpakkam. Manchitra par inko ankit kare. Aur inke baare mein jankari hasil kare ki ye kis rajya mein sthit hai. Solar energy is a one of a very popular and very important form of non-conventional source of energy. Do you know why? Because India is a tropical country. We have enormous possibilities of tapping solar energy. How does this happen? Photovoltaic technology converts the sunlight directly into electricity. And children, this is the neatest and purest form of energy. And more so, solar energy is fast becoming popular in rural and remote areas. This is the reason that there are many big solar power plants that are being established in different parts of our country. Why? The advantage is that it minimizes the dependence of rural households on firewood and dunk cakes. Consequently, we will also find that it adds on to preserving in preserving in our environment. It great, greatly lays an emphasis on environmental conservation 
and the adequate supply of manure in agriculture. Wind power. Hawa jab chalti hai. आपने बहुत बार एक प्रोजेक्ट एक्टिविटी किया होगा एक क्रियाकलाप किया होगा क्या आपने कभी विंडमिल बनाया है yes, पेपर से पंखा बनाया है hmm. और आप जब दौड़ते हैं hmm. तो आपने देखा होगा कि वो पंखा घूमता है hmm. सोचिए इस ऊर्जा को हम कैसे टैप कर सकते हैं इंडिया जस्ट लाइक हैज वी हैव द पॉसिबिलिटीज इमेंस अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑफ टैपिंग द सनलाइट we also have immense possibility of tapping the wind energy india has great potential of wind power the largest windmill that is located in the state of tamil nadu we can share a short video for your knowledge जैसा आप देख सकते हैं वी वी आर वॉचिंग अ विंड फार्म एंड दिस इज एन रूट इन द स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु नागर कोयल जिसके बारे में आपके टेक्सट बुक में बताया गया है एंड सी द क्लस्टर ऑफ विंड मिल्स यू कैन सी द एंटायर रीजन बींग प्रोवाइडेड एंड सपोर्टेड विद इन मच नीडेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी see the green bulbs behind yes so do find out how wind energy is also another important non conventional source of energy we have another section that deals with the biogas in biogas shrubs farm waste animals and human waste are used to produce the domestic consumption the gas that is widely used for domestic consumption in rural areas decomposition of organic matter yields the gas which has higher thermal efficiency in comparison to kerosene dung cake and charcoal as remember that it is not conducive and favorable to our environment tidal energy uses the oceanic tides to generate electricity how do we tap this energy flood gate dams are built across the inlets and children during the high tide water flows into the inlet and it gets trapped when the gate is closed after the tide falls outside the flood gate the water which is retained by the flood gate flows back into the sea via a pipe that carries it through a power generating turbine biogas plants are also set up at municipal cooperative and individual levels ये एक एक्सरसाइज फिर मैं आपको दे रही हूं मैं आपको थोड़ा आगे पीछे डॉज कर रही हूं क्या आपने गोबर गैस प्लांट्स के बारे में सुना है और उनकी क्या जरूरत है इसके बारे में आप जानकारी हासिल कीजिए वाई डू वी हैव सेटअप गोबर ग्लास गैस प्लांट्स एट कोऑपरेटिव और म्यूनिसिपल और इंडिविजुअल लेवल्स चिल्ड्रन इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वे ऑफ solid waste management not only provides us with the twin benefits of farmers in the form of providing them with energy but also it helps in the improved quality of manure for our agriculture you can see the picture of a biogas plant how this improves the quality of manure it checks the loss of the fuel wood the gulf of kambath is a region children as you can see it in the picture 
and we have the constant gangetic delta in Sundarban that uses the tidal energy. Geothermal energy is another form. Here we find that as the earth grows progressively hotter with increasing depth, is urja ko hum prayog karte hain geothermal energy ke liye. Groundwater in such areas, wherever we have high gradients of temperature, the land gets heated and this heat is trapped in the form of steam to turn the turbines to generate electricity. You might be familiar with the Parvati Valley in Manikaran in Himachal Pradesh and Puga Valley in Ladakh. These are some of the important experimental projects that have been set up in India to harness geothermal energy. Mukta, ek ab aap se prashna karti ho ki aapko kyu lagta hai ki hume energy save karna chahiye? Because ma'am, jaise ki hum apni yehi tak throughout session mein padte aa rahe hain, jaise ki aapne bataya firewood. हम यहाँ पर बात करते हैं डंक के की अगर इसी तरह से ये डिप्लीट होता रहेगा तो हाउ कम वी विल हैव दोस्त फॉर आर एग्रीकल्चर दैस क्या आपने बताया इंडियन इज इंडिया इज ए एग्रीकल्चर कंट्री तो यहाँ पे हमें अपने सोर्सेस को सेव करना होगा सो दैट जो हमारी एनर्जी है हम उसे एज लॉन्ग एज वी कैन रिटेन इट जी वेरी वेल सेट एंड चिल्ड्रेन इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हमें जैसे जैसे मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज हैं या पॉपुलेशन बढ़ रहा है to cater to various needs mm -hmm. and to support our and sustain our own manufacturing sector, agricultural sector mm -hmm. and our own basic necessities, transportation, gas, domestic fuel, etc. We need this energy mm -hmm. and therefore it is very important for us to remember that the consumption of energy has increased but at the same time we have to remember that energy saved is energy produced. So children, I hope you've had a wonderful session. Yes, ma'am, surely. And thank you so much uh, for, sh for sharing these information, these facts in such an abundance manner. I hope uh, all our students, all our viewers grab that piece of information in, in the way you just, you know, deliver it. Thank you so much, ma'am, once again for being here, for delivering this wonderful, this informative session to all our students. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you to all our viewers as well who connected with us throughout this session. I would like to say for now we are upping this session but we will be back with another session. Stay connected to PMV the channel and see RT official. Namaskar.